Wow, what a night, huh? What an amazing show. Thanks. <laughs> you got a producer sitting here, huh? I can uh, express how happy I am to be here with everyone today and as we celebrate a new era and enter our 91st year, we had a fantastic show thanks to ABC and Tall Pony Productions again. It's been an incredible night for everyone. What an amazing show. But before we begin, I'd like to take a moment, as we do, to thank our wonderful sponsors who support this organization, who provide our scholarships to thousands of young women across our nation, because we wouldn't be able to do it without them. A special, special thanks goes to Express for being our premier sponsor for the 2012 Miss America pageant and for the remarkable support we have received from them this entire year. We want to thank them from the bottom of our hearts. As Miss America 2012 is going to be traveling 20,000 miles every single month, she will be looking beautiful with the help of Artistry by Amway, who is the official skin care and cosmetic provider for Miss America. We are truly excited about our upcoming year also. As you all know, the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals is our national platform, and Miss America 2012 will be their goodwill ambassador. So she will visit hospitals across North America and to help raise money and awareness for children with life-threatening illnesses. For the fourth year now, Miss America will have her wardrobe provided by Joseph Ripkoff. And so she's going to be setting fashion forward trends for this year, and we want a special thanks goes to Joseph Ripkoff again. In addition to Express, the Miss America organization has two new sponsors as well. When by Chaz Dean Hair Care Products and Complicate Designs, our new official national swimwear sponsor of the Miss America pageant. So we want a special thanks to them. Some of Miss America's 2012's first official duties leaving here will include flying to New York for a national media tour and then heading to Indianapolis, Indiana to participate in the Taste of the NFL's events leading up to Super Bowl 46. Tonight, as her moment begins, though, she will be presented with roses from our official rose provider, Passion Growers. So with that, I'd like to invite Mr. Sam Haskell, the chairman of the board of the Miss America organization. Sam. Thank you, Art. Well, we finished our 91st Miss America pageant, and we could not be more thrilled than to have Miss Wisconsin Laura is a beautiful young lady, a brilliant young lady, and what you need to know, she was crowned Miss America after competing with, in my opinion, 53 of the most intelligent and talented young women we have ever had in this program. And I'm telling you something, this is a group that is going to go forward and going to encourage all their friends and all their friends' little sisters because we are creating a dream machine. And when you think about offering $45,000 a year in scholarship money to young women all over this country, when you think about the impact it can have on lives, when you can think about the change that can occur in a young woman's life when she is awarded a scholarship to make her dreams come true. We are also going to focus this year, and Laura will be focusing on it as well because she is the official face and spokesperson for the Miss America organization on education, education, education. What the children of this country need is to be educated. If children have dreams, they have to be educated. And we're gonna provide the money for the education, and we're gonna provide a concept that's going to focus on science, and focus on technology, and focus on engineering and math and the arts, we're going to create a program called STEM, S-T-E-M, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. We are going to create a program that we can take to the local and the state levels that can encourage all young people, not just our contestants, but all young people to participate and to grow and to learn. And what better way than through what the Miss America organization can offer. I want to bring real quickly Tony Eaton, our executive producer, up. Tony. The network, ABC, and their executives, Mark Brocco and Jeff Bader, who are here tonight, came up to me after it was over 
and said this is one of the best live shows we've had in a long time. And that did our hearts good and we have this man right here to thank for that. Thank you very much, Sam. Appreciate that. He's been with us, he and his beautiful wife Lauren, who's had a little case of the shies tonight. But Tony and Lauren have been with us for four years, and as far as I'm concerned, they'll be with us as long as they will be with us, because yes. they will always be invited. Here's Lauren Harris Eaton. But just know you're gonna be hearing a lot about what we're doing with education through the Miss America organization. We wanna make a difference and continue to make a difference, and we are going to make a difference. Thank you. Thank you. You too. <laughs> May I please present to you Miss America 2012, formerly Miss Wisconsin, now Miss America, Laura Kepler. I really appreciate all of the pictures. I am so honored and so truly blessed to be in this position. It's something that every young girl dreams of and it's something that you never imagine can come true in your life. But I am just so honored and so grateful to be named Miss America. It's such a humbling, humbling honor and title. I'm so looking forward this year to stressing the importance of education, education in our youth, and helping children, especially I think young women, encourage them to pursue the fields of technology, a fairly dominated male field. I'm so looking forward to working in the education field, as well as pursuing my degree, my, my law degree in family law, with my Amway scholarship to be a legal voice for children of incarcerated parents, which is the title of my platform. And to me especially, thank you, and especially to stress the importance of education to those young children, to encourage them to realize that education is the way to their future and that they don't have to follow the same norms as their parents who may have been incarcerated. Thank you. Yeah, Laura, before, before we go into any questions here, uh, we do have some special people that came by here to see you. Okay. So I would just like to bring up our judges, if I can, from Dancing with the Stars, Mr. Mark Ballas. Mark. <laughs> Star of the media, the, the Parents film, film Franchise and the People's Choice Award, Ms. Terry Polo. Creator of The Bachelor, Mr. Mike Fleiss. The host of ABC's Extreme Makeover Weight Loss Edition, Mr. Chris Powell. The star and executive producer of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chris Jenner. The host of Univision's, Univision's top show, El Gordo y la Flaca, Raul de Molina. And our head judge from Good Morning, Alar Good Morning America, Lara Spencer. You guys want to take some photos first? Scooch over. <laughs> 
I would like to ask all of our judges, if they would, how their week went here, what it was like to judge Miss America. For me, it was wonderful. I didn't know what to expect when I came here. And after I spent my, my first day inside a room for 10 hours doing interviews to all these girls, I say, what I got myself into. It had been the best week of my life. Really, it's an honor as a Hispanic to be able to judge Miss America. This has been wonderful for me. And all the judges also have been fantastic. Thank you. I think um, the feeling is really mutual as far as the judges go. We feel like we've been at summer camp together and have made some really lifelong friends if we didn't know each other already. And as far as judging the girls, it was an experience I was like blown away. I never knew that you know this is what it was all about. And I'm so thrilled to have been a part of it and really appreciate being invited because it was really a once in a lifetime experience. I second Chris. It was such a joy working with you. It was such an honor meeting you and the, your fellow contestants. I feel so proud to be a part of choosing you. And um, I think we all took it very seriously. We laughed a lot, but we knew that we had an important mission and, um, and it really was a pleasure. And I, I hope that um, you shine as much as you shined all week. You know, um, I, once again, I second what Raul and Chris and, and, and Lara said. You know, coming into the, the pageant, I kind of had a preconceived notion and perspective on, on what it was, and it completely blew my mind to see just the, the pure talent and, and the, the, the umph that you guys bring. It, it, it was so refreshing that to, to, to understand like, your, your uh, awareness of current events and politics and, and the work that you put into your bodies. I mean, that, that's my specialty and well done. I mean, yeah, very, very well done. So you're here for a reason. <laughs> well, I, I thought I was gonna hate it. And, uh, and, I, and I absolutely loved it. And the Miss America organization is one of the finest uh, organizations I've ever been around. And it's just been a fantastic week. And, Something I'll never forget, and I'm so glad I was part of it. So it was a real honor. Thank you. Uh, I, I think the thing that I was most impressed with was was the the, the organization itself, as well um, as the girls, the the integrity, the uh, the compassion, the empathy, the warmth, the kindness, the caring, the selflessness was extraordinary throughout the entire organization, much less the girls. And you are extraordinary young women, and I'm. I'm so proud for you, and I hope you're enormously proud of yourself, because you're beautiful and lovely, and congratulations. Um, first, coming into this, I never thought I was going to be looking forward more to the onstage question and evening gown than the swimsuit round, because so I really, get, really got into it and learning you know, how well-versed, how just beautiful and talented and educated these women are, and, and to be a part of such an amazing organization that is offering scholarship to all these women. Um, it was just, you know, an honor and a blessing, and I, I'm just super proud to be here. I'm proud of all the judges. I think we, I think we nailed it, and I'm, um, you know, really looking forward to uh, watching it back. Congratulations. Thank you all very much. We're going to have Miss America ask some, we'll open this up for some questions here. Yeah, Laura, why don't you come up? Yeah, we're going to open this up for some questions for a few minutes here. Ashley, you have a question? Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Can you talk about uh, what this means for you and your family, especially because you made such a personal decision on your platform, and uh, you know, what it's been like from, from you know, the darkest valleys to, to now? I have such a personal connection to my platform, which is mentoring children of incarcerated parents. and. 
It was such a struggle and such a difficult time in my life, but it has in turn made me able to pursue this platform and it's made me so much stronger. My family and I as a whole have decided to pursue this because we see the need for mentoring these children who have parents in prison. They are so much more likely than their peers to commit crime and end up incarcerated at some point in their own life. And so I decided to take that on because I was one of those children, but because I see how important the need for them is. There are more than two million children currently in our country who have parents in prison. It really was a decision that my entire family made and I couldn't be more proud of my family for sticking behind me and supporting me in doing that. I think our next question is gonna come from the uh, land of the rich and famous here. Miss, I did cry a lot, so it was very teary for me. Miss Oklahoma, Betty Thompson, she is just the sweetest, sweetest young woman I've ever met. And we were standing there, and it was really daring to see the entire group of contestants, actually, all have very deep-rooted faith. And the five of us prayed before we went on and we just said, God's will will be done no matter what happens. And we were all at peace with that. And Betty looked at me and she said, you will be such a fantastic Miss America. And I said, Betty, don't say that. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but we were all just so encouraging. I was crying before my name was even called. But that moment, I think, you really don't know what to think. It was, it's, it's kind of a blur, actually, to be honest. But it was just surreal to be to have this honor. It's just indescribable. So here's the, the question which might make, make you tear up. It's, I'm certain it's going to make all of us tear up. Dad is here for mine. Yes. And there's a message out of what he went through that mm -hmm. you will now convey to people. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is the message that both of you want to convey from this experience? Thank you for that question. We both are so... He, my dad is my best friend. He, he is, and you're right, <laughs> you did make me tear up. He is such a strong supporter of me. And together, I'm so looking forward to sharing this journey with him because our overall message is that no matter what your circumstance, if you are in prison or you are not, you deserve a relationship with your child, and that child deserves a relationship with their parents as well. And I'm so looking forward to being that positive image for children and, and parents alike, to let them realize that no matter what their current relationship with their child is, I am living proof that it can be the strongest that it's ever been. Absolutely. We, my father and I have never been as close as we are today. He's my biggest supporter, and I'm so very proud of him. Want to come up here, Dad? I'll take the next one. Sure. Come on. Take the next question if you'd like. Yes. Any other questions? What could you have used during that period of father who was incarcerated? What specifically would have been helpful for you that you could apply to other children? Yeah, there really are not many resources for children who have parents in prison, and that's what I found is that I didn't really know of where to turn. And I've been working with this fabulous organization called the US Dream Academy, which is an organization that serves children who are at the highest risk to become incarcerated at some point in their own life. And there are 10 Dream Academies across the country in 10 different states. And my goal as Miss America is to have a Dream Academy in every single state. Because these children, 
Thank you. These children are taught three things while they're there. They're taught skill building, character building, and dream building. They're, they're taught to map out a dream and a plan for their future, a plan for success, so that they don't fall to the same patterns of incarceration that their family may have gone through. And if I had a dream academy, before I became involved in the Miss America organization, I would have realized my own potential. That's the fabulous thing about this organization is that it truly empowers you to feel like anything is possible for your life. And that's the message that I want to share with children who have parents in prison is that no matter their background, no matter where they come from, they can be Miss America. They can be anyone that they choose to be. So had I had a Dream Academy, it would have changed my life. And that's what I hope to enable other children to have as Dream Academies as well. OK, we're going to take one more question. Thank you so much. We absolutely love you already. Thank you. I'm so excited to honestly share this dream of mine with children who have parents in prison. That is where my passion lies, is empowering them and allowing them to realize that no dream is too small. And I'm living proof of that. I'm so excited, so excited to work with those children. Great. Okay, thank you all for coming very much.